Hi to everyone, your Pyral here with some more of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last episode, we made our way through the treacherous lands of Snow Peak, and we encountered the fabled beast that lives in this area. And that said beast brought us here to the Snow Peak Ruins, which happens to be the next dungeon of the game. And right off the bat, there is an impo for us to defeat. So I think I've mentioned this before, but pretty much from here on out, we're going to be seeing impos in dungeons. They're not going to be required or anything, but they're just going to be optional. And I'm still going to be going after all of them. And whenever you're in a dungeon, just like when you're in the overworld, you can see how many are in a dungeon just by opening up the map. So there's three to find in this dungeon. Okay then. Anyways, the Snow Peak Ruins. Interesting place. First off, there's no ceiling. So there's some snow peak. Oh, hold up. That's interesting. There's a painting here of Queen Rutella, Prince Rallis's, uh mother. Then over here, oh, that's cool. That's a painting of the Sacred Grove where we got the Master Sword. And back here, that is the Arbiter's Grounds, the last dungeon that we were in. Then what is this a painting of? Huh. A person, maybe? And then there's another painting of Queen Rutella. And then that same person. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Anyways, let's just go in through here. Now, the thing that's interesting about the Snow Peak Ruins is that it just seems to be a mansion that has just fallen into ruin. And that's actually... That actually falls into how you enter through some of the doors, because you can't enter through these doors as Wolf Link, since Wolf Link doesn't have thumbs. Anyways, in this room, there is this person. Creature. This is the wife of the beast, who appears to be sick. Let's see, husband told me you come. You want to look at mirror, huh? My husband found it, but it pretty thing. But since I get Mir, I get sick, and then bad monsters appear. So many bad things happen since Mir. So we lock bedroom on third floor where it hangs. Wait, I tell you where Key is. And she gives us the map of this place. Green rooms are ones that we visited. Yes, I know how that works. Fever makes head blurry, but probably here in the room marked by the symbol. Okay, so that's where... That's where the key is, and then the third floor is where the the supposed piece of the Mirror of Twilight is. Okay, well she's gonna lead us through this door. Any other door that we could take that's open, these aren't open, but they would pretty much be dead ends. Now, there's other paintings here. That seems to be of Hyrule Castle. Uh, I'm not sure what this is a painting of yeah I don't recognize that then just another one of Hyrule Castle and a painting of the Arbiter's Grounds interesting and in this room this is where the beast is wife look bad not healthy since Mir so I make suit for her Fish from Zora Village are most nutritious. You tired? You have some. It give you energy. So right here, this is one of the gimmicks of this dungeon. There is no hearts that can be found in this dungeon at all. The only way that you can heal yourself is either by bringing in your own healing items or by dipping your bottle into this soup. But it only heals two hearts because it's simple soup. Can't decide. Okay, well, that fish had just. It's creepy. Yo, what's up and everything. Anyways, this beast's name is Yeto. I don't think the game will outright tell us that, but his name is Yeto, and his wife's name is Yetta. They're basically Yeti people. I don't think. I don't think any creatures like them have appeared in the Zelda series since. Maybe. Anyways, over here is Uku. 
and just like before, Uku is going to be a way to instantly warp out a dungeon, which is actually really nice in this case because this dungeon doesn't have any hearts, and we only have soup that heals two hearts, so if you really need to heal, Uku is a nice source of healing. Anyways, I'm just going to restore the small bit of damage I took before I entered this dungeon. Oh wow, you can see like the fish cut up. Creepy. Anyways, let's just uh, continue going on through this dungeon. Now the thing I like about this dungeon, I don't know if like there's any supplementary like material about this dungeon, but it just seems to be a mansion that was uh, abandoned, fell into ruin, and then I think it's just implied that Yeto and Yeto just eventually found this place after it was abandoned and made it their home. I don't know, I think that's that seems to be the most likely thing, but who knows, they might be royalty. You never know. Anyways, we have a bit of a puzzle here. We have these metal blocks we can push around, and they'll slide on the ice. This is a really simple puzzle. Okay, then I was trying not to touch the ice there, but it instantly freezes you. Anyways, just push this down. As you can see, there's also a switch here that's encased in ice, but we can't do anything about that. So really, all we can do is just push this block down until it's on this switch and it opens up that door. So inside this door, there, it takes us outside. I guess to like this um, main courtyard type area that you can dig into? I don't know. But... It's... I wonder what this place would, would have looked like when it was, um... When it was all, like, in its former glory, basically. There's the third floor bedroom. Okay, then. That's our inevitable goal. Okay, then. And we have some white wolfos here. Okay, well, I'll fight you as a wolf because I am the superior wolf here. Wow, that took a lot of hits. Maybe just one of these would be enough. And as you can see, there's just blocks of ice impeding our way through this place. So there's really only a limited number of ways we can go. And there's a treasure chest here that's buried underneath the snow. Ooh, I want the blue rupee. What's in this treasure chest? Small key? Okay, so that's something that we needed. And then this one... has... something in it. Red rupee. Okay, I guess I can't complain about that. Oh yeah, there, since there's some deep parts of the snow, it would actually be more beneficial to just be Wolf Link when you're outside and have to go through the snow. But, eh, whatever. Now, let's see. Can't go through here. That's where we came from. And we have these enemies. These enemies are annoying to deal with because they're usually encountered where there's ice. And if you hit them with your sword, they just bounce around. So, that can make some shenanigans happen. An easy way to take care of these, actually, that I like to do is use the Mortal Draw. When it works. Because it just instantly kills them. Just like that. So, uh, let me just Mortal Draw you. And there we go. Easy peasy. Oh, okay then. Have more here. And then another one. And goodbye. Okay, at least I, at least I killed it. Those enemies could be a pain to deal with. See, am I missing anything? No. Just want to make sure. We're getting close to where the key is. It's right over there.
Okay then. Now here, we have some really cool enemies. I like these enemies a lot, although I don't really know what their official name is. They have these icicle spears that they can throw at you. And they're actually pretty quick and agile. They use their spears to guard, so a jump attack will get rid of their spears. Although they'll just form new ones. But when they don't have any spears, that's your chance to attack them. Oh, Helm Splitter also works too. Neat. And that opens up this door for us. So let's go, uh... Oh, another painting of the Arbiter's Grounds. Let's go gra uh, grab this key. Another painting of the Sacred Grove. And in here... That's not the key. That's an Ordon Pumpkin. What it was doing in the treasure chest, I don't know. This isn't right. She got the wrong location. Uh, Want to go back and try to get her to remember where the key is? Sure. That would be useful for us. Because we're not after a pumpkin. But this is an easy way back down. Actually, I wonder. I think this just takes us to a dead end. Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, this easily takes us back to where Yetta is. And let's just, uh, go see what she's up to. Maybe she'll remember where the key is this time. You find it? What? Pumpkin? But why there? Uh, sorry, husband in kitchen right now. Take pumpkin to him. I try to remember. Okay then. We have a pumpkin at least. So maybe, maybe you can make use of this. Ah, uh, pumpkin! You have pumpkin, huh? <laughs> Just shoves us. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Thanks. You taste it if you want. And now, doing this, by giving him the pumpkin, will turn this into good soup that smells like pumpkins and replenishes four hearts instead of two. So, so it's gotten better. A fish pumpkin soup. I don't know how that would taste. Honestly. I don't know if I would want to try that, but it's a better healing item than the simple soup. Okay, what now? See, it could be in that room, I think. Go to room marked by symbol. That room. That's all the way over there on the north end of this place. Okay. And do you say anything else? I mean, she is sick, so her memory probably isn't the best right now. Oh well. Oh, more snow to deal with. And more of these wolfos. Well, at least our little energy field attack is a good way of taking care of them. And I think there's one more, right? Yep. Come on, get in here. You know you want to. Oh, come on. Stop avoiding me. Come on. Because you're going to be a pain later on. That's why I'm dealing with you now. Come on. Now this enemy here. This enemy. We can't do anything about it. It's essentially a big roadblock for us. If we try to approach it, it'll... It'll just, uh... Freeze us with its breath. And nothing we do will work against it. So really, our only option here... Let's see... We have that small key, right? I think we do. We haven't used it yet, right? Yeah. So right in here. 
No, we don't have the small key. We used it already? Huh. Hold up. Am I missing a key? I don't think I am. Oh, duh. We go through here. It's getting confused for a moment. Okay, well, let's just go this way. We have more of these. We have a little bit of a puzzle. Or not a puzzle, but some winding corridors down here. And just grab these. I'm gonna grab this metal ball. It's something we're gonna need for this room. I'm just going to avoid all these enemies because they're not worth dealing with. Hopefully they don't touch me and freeze me. And now, here is a cool thing about this dungeon. We can drop this metal ball in, and then... We can use some bombs here. To blow away some of the ice. And I want this treasure chest. It's probably nothing worthwhile, but I still want it. Bombs. Okay, so that's to teach you... That you need bombs, really. Oh, don't touch me! Jerk. Okay, well now... I'm just gonna... Mm, don't like you. Didn't even... Didn't even realize that that thing was there. Okay, so... Now what I want to do... Is just... Rotate this... And now, drop, drop the bomb here. Not use my bottle. Okay, there we go. That opens a way forward for us. And there's still some ice here. I don't think it leads to anything noteworthy. If I can, like, move the camera around. Doesn't look like it. But maybe if we get the compass, we'll be able to see if there's anything in this room. No, I don't need this. How much does this thing weigh? I'm curious now. Huh. Ooh, this is precarious. This is very precarious. Okay, so what I want to do is just... Do that, get rid of all these ice keys that are, are here. Use this. Haha, <laughs> two for the price of one. And I want to be careful. Some of the... Some of these planks of wood are sloped, so you'll slide down them, I think. Okay, that's out of the way. I think you'll slide on these. Yeah. Slope isn't even, like, that big, but... Oh well. Okay, do that. And... There we go. Meaver stamp in a small chest? Huh. Oh! I know what that's a painting of. Okay. Then there's one of Ordon Village. Cool. I'm not gonna say what that's a painting of because... I don't want to. <laughs> but here... We have ourselves... The Compass! So now, we can take a look here and see that there is indeed a treasure chest in that room. And there's also one there. In that uh, snowy uh, courtyard area. Luckily, there's a claw shot target here to make getting back easier. And I can just beeline my way straight to the door. I wasn't expecting the... The... Meaver stamp to be in a small chest. Oh well, anyways. 
now that we know that there's a treasure chest here, we can actually just dig. I mean, we could also just use our senses to dig. You're back! How dare you? Four regular attacks. I don't- Oh, hello. Come on. These wolfos are annoying. Okay, get out of the way before that thing freezes me. So right around here. Aha. This is a treasure chest that we need. It's actually cleverly hidden, because if you're not paying attention with your sense as a wolf, you'll never know that it's there. And if you don't have the compass, then there you go. Oh, I have to be a regular link for this. Okay, so now this room... This room is interesting. We can't go through that door. And if we try to go up here, our way is going to be stopped by one of those things that just frees us. So what we have to do is take this, bring this thing down, drop it into here, into this mechanism, open the door, and then bring it out here. Just like that. Because it's too heavy for us to hold with one arm and open the door, I guess. We have to hold it overhead like this. But if Link were to just drop it on his head, that would probably hurt. Give him brain damage or something. Probably. Anyways, let's do that. Drop this. Because there's a treasure chest back here. I don't know what's in this treasure chest. More bombs! Okay. I mean, I'm fine with that because it refills us on the few that we've used. And now, we can actually take care of that enemy that is blocking our path. Not there. Rotate it again. We can only rotate it every 90 degrees, it seems. But anyways, let's do this and... Bombs away. That's so satisfying. And it just turns into one of those... It breaks apart into these tiny enemies, so I guess that's... Like, the big version is... The big version of that? Anyways, go through this way. And let's just go... Oh! We're stopped here. <laughs> Say hello to the mini boss of the dungeon. So what you want this thing to do is... Try to avoid it, wait for it to swing its ball at you, and not get hit. Oh, that's not gonna work. We're in such a narrow, like, corridor here, so you want to be careful. But when it gets close to you, use your claw shot to latch on and get to the other side of the room. And that should give you enough room to dodge. And then hit the tail. Okay. You're pretty close to me. So I'm just gonna do this. Back away. And then... Hit your tail again! Come on. Now, one thing that I noticed just now is... This uh, enemy's model... Was slightly redesigned in in the Wii U version. So now the tail looks like it's armored. Which is weird, because the tail is the weak spot, so you would expect it to not be armored. But, 
Yeah, that, that could confuse some people that would think that you can't hit the tail. Oh no, oh no, you're getting close. Okay. Do that. Perfect. And are you dead? Yes, you are. Cool. And by defeating this enemy, we get ourselves a new item. We can take this thing's ball and chain. Such a fun item to use. It's a giant iron ball that has incredible power. So the ball and chain, if I were to switch over to it, where is it? Down here. We basically use it like that enemy did. We swing it around. If we were to press the the ZL button to go into targeting mode, we can actually walk around with it. And then let go of the button we have it set to, and we throw it. Can deal a ton of damage to enemies, and it's actually a good way to fight re-dead knights. Which I guess I'll get into whenever I see one. But here, you can just use it to break the ice. We can attack these suits of armor as well. Just destroy everything in this room. It's so satisfying to do. Can I destroy this? No. We can destroy these suits of armor. It's so fun to just swing things around. Now the problem is, it is a bit on the slow side just because we are swinging it and then we have to throw it. And it's just a heavy item. But when used correctly, it could be pretty fun to use. Anyways, here's the key. No, it's just goat cheese. Ah, oh, food again. Yeah, I had a bad feeling about this. She didn't seem very sure of herself. Oh well, let's head back and hope she has some other brilliant idea. Sounds like a plan. We took quite a bit of damage from that fight. Luckily, we can just heal up with soup. But yeah, the ball and chain opens up a lot of stuff for us to do in this dungeon. So let's go do that.